Well, Maryland celebrity chef Brian Voltaggio is in Annapolis today fighting to keep funding in place for school breakfast programs. Yeah, Brian is the chef and co-owner of the Bolt Restaurant in Frederick. 11 News reporter David Collins had a seat at the table, so to speak, and joins us now live from Annapolis with more on the story. Hi, David. Hey, Stan. Now, the governor increased funding to that program that the chef was down for by more than a half million dollars. Now, legislators have been asked to consider slashing that amount by half, but it would still be an increase in funding. Chef Brian Voltaggio created quite a buzz in Annapolis. The co-owner of Volt Restaurant in Frederick drew a crowd everywhere he went. He's here to use his celebrity status to fight budget cuts and public school breakfast programs. You have to be awake and ready and excited about being in school. And if you're, if you're there with an empty stomach, then, uh, then, then it's just not the right environment for learning. Governor Martin O'Malley put $560,000 in his budget for the Maryland Meals for Achievement Project. But the Department of Legislative Services is recommending increasing the program's budget by half that amount. Since 1998, participating schools throughout the state offer students a free breakfast in the classroom. No one has to pay, regardless of family income. It's a few hundred thousand dollars, but it, given the amount of, uh, given the number of families that have indicated that they are eligible for uh, free and reduced lunch, breakfast programs, this couldn't come at a worse time. Budget cuts have already reduced the number of students participating. The last evaluation providing free school meals found a five-point increase in the percentage of students who scored at or above satisfactory levels on achievement tests. The analysis credits an 8% decline in tardiness and a 45% decrease in the lengths of suspensions. The House subcommittee considering the cuts will also keep in mind slashing the state budget reduces federal dollars as well. I think it is important that we go with the full governor's request because that $580,000 investment will help us draw down $2.8 million in federal funding. You cut that in half, you're cutting in half the amount of money we get back from the federal government for our investment in child nutrition. Yes, people will call this new money, people will call this money that um, is an additional to the budget, but it's necessary. I mean, it's absolutely necessary. This, this is our future. This is Maryland's future. This is our children. They need to be taken care of first. Ultimately, both the House and Senate will decide whether to slash the proposed funding increase for that program. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.